Hello everyone! Good day! This is Maria Antoinette Piquetti. I am a third year marketing management student from the College of Business and Accountancy from University of Nueva Cáceres. Today we are going to talk about the basic concepts of marketing. The question now is, what is marketing? The essence of marketing is a transaction, an exchange intended to satisfy human needs and wants. There are three elements in marketing process. We have the marketers, followed by what is being marketed, and of course, the target market. According to Philip Kotler, marketing is a social process by which individuals and groups obtain what they need and want through creating and exchanging products and value with others. This definition includes following core concepts, needs, wants, and demands, products, value and satisfaction, exchange and transaction, markets and marketers need it is a state of deprivation of some basic satisfaction for example you need to eat food you need to have your clothes right maybe you need to have your shelter you need to have your belongings so when we say clothes we have different types of clothes depends on the weather like if it's sunny or if it's raining or if it, if you are in the other country you need to wear a very thick clothes for you to protect yourself from the cold or the snow so we have this wants wants are desires for specific satisfiers of the deeper needs needs are few and wants are many Let's say, for example, I want to eat ice cream. Of course, sometimes when it's hot, we need something to eat or we need to something to drink that can make us refreshing. So when you say want, you are desiring more specifically, not just water. You want more, just like ice cream because there is a certain flavor right what is your favorite ice cream i like cheese <laughs> so let's talk about demands demands are different uh, from this needs and wants so wants are backed by ability to buy and willingness to buy let's say for example i want to buy a shampoo I can afford to buy shampoo that is so expensive because I need and I am looking for its benefits. Let's say for example, I am suffering for having a dandruff. So if you have dandruff, you need something for your scarf to remove those dandruff. So I am willing to pay for the expensive shampoo so that what demands come in so i hope you learn from the difference between need wants and demands that is really exist in the marketplace products offers satisfiers resources it is referring to anything that can be offered to someone to satisfy a need or want is a product so meaning a product refers to physical object and also it can be services referred to intangible object for example the product is a mobile phone or a smartphone so you need a smartphone for your communications you can also do your work there like for example for offices can you imagine you can have your almost like computer object without having your own big monitor on your table and also when it comes to services let's not go far the wi-fi connections on the internet connections or the data or whatever is that as long as it is referring to the data information that's coming from the internet so it's intangible 
its services. And of course, we have to emphasize the word value in marketing. Value is the customer's estimate of the product's capacity to satisfy a set of goals. And also, value is the ratio between what the customer gets and what he gives. And now let's talk about the exchange and transaction. Exchange is a process rather than an event. It is a value-creating process because it normally leaves both parties better off. And also, a transaction which is uh, existing and including in the marketing, it is a trade of values between the two or more parties. It's something like a, a barter transaction or a monetary transaction. So, let's talk about what is market. Is it a place? Is it an object? Or is it a people? Well, market is consists of all the potential customers sharing a particular need or want who might be willing and able to engage in exchange to satisfy that need or want. So when you say marketplace, it is a group of people that they're willing to exchange, okay? So it can be actually go deeper like B2B and B2C when we say B2B is business to business. When you say B2C, it's business to customers. They are exchanging, right? Business to business. So they are doing their transactions according to their business. So when you are having a business, you're having your own customers. It's different. So here we are again. What is marketing again? So when we say marketing, let's go what is it all about. It aims to establish, maintain, enhance a long-term relationship with customers at a profit so that the objectives of the parties involved are met. And secondly, marketing consists of attracting, developing, and retaining profitable customers. So we are not just after into selling, then after that, no more. No. Our goal as a company or as a marketer is to retain them, to satisfy their needs, for them to patronize our product because we are doing we are satisfying their needs okay so we have uh, we are creating more being in innovative and especially this pandemic if they are if you are offering new products for them they will be more willing to pay and that's what marketing all about